reinforcement through praise as a way to improve employee satisfaction and let's make a more positive work environment. The cost of giving praise is totally free. The time and effort it requires is next to none. The value of it is nearly priceless. First, let me say, I appreciate your willingness to listen and participate in this presentation. I think it says a lot about your drive and ambition that you are taking on the difficult task of getting an MBA. We're going to begin today by stretching our positive feedback muscles. We'll start with an activity that allows us to practice giving compliments and praise. This is how it's going to work. One person will stand and look at the person to whom they wish to give positive feedback. They should pick one person in the room. Then they'll address that person directly. They won't be telling the class or me what they appreciate about this person. Tell the person you've selected something honestly that you've observed. Give a reason why it was good or what you liked about it. Tell them why you appreciated it. The person who receives the feedback should accept the compliment by responding with thank you. There's no need to argue the praise. Let's take a few moments now to pause the video and try the warm up. Now that we're all warmed up, let's discuss these questions. Pause the video again to talk about how it felt to give a classmate positive feedback. How did it feel to receive the feedback? And were you surprised by the feedback you received? Okay, great warm up. I appreciate your participation. So where do we go from here? We're going to talk about the idea of using positive reinforcement. Where it comes from, where it comes from, why we should use it, and some ideas for implementing positive reinforcement at work. This is B. F. Skinner. He proposed that people are more likely to repeat behavior that is rewarded or reinforced. His theory is called behaviorism. In this lesson, we are learning to use praise as a reward that reinforces positive behavior. The idea is that if we can identify behaviors we want employees to repeat, we encourage those behaviors by giving positive feedback. Skinner found that rats were willing to do work or expend energy in exchange for something they wanted, food. So what do people want? Certainly food as well, but also feedback, approval, and validation. Praise costs nothing, but can dramatically improve the environment in which you work. Your relationships with coworkers, management, employees, can all be improved through something that's free and available to everyone. There are a few steps to using positive reinforcement at work. Let's go over them. First, identify the behavior that you want. Look for something that's going to benefit the business and the employee, not just something that's a personal preference of yours. Next, be able to recognize this behavior and be looking for it. You want to see it when it happens and notice it every time. As soon as you see it, compliment it. Don't wait. Add power to this reinforcement by explaining why the action was good. 
Your praise should be specific and give details about what you liked and how it benefited the company. Be consistent in recognizing and rewarding behavior with praise. It takes practice to be able to do it regularly. Feedback can come from managers or from peers. Encourage your employees to give each other praise and feedback. Immediate feedback is the most powerful, so be quick to recognize favorable behaviors and respond to them promptly. When you take the time to give praise, employees, coworkers, and bosses feel validated and valued. Positive work behaviors increase. Creating a more positive work environment can increase employee retention. Positive reinforcement is a form of feedback that provides support for your employees. It enhances working relationships. It's a form of reward and it's recognition for behavior that you appreciate and that benefits your company. By providing positive reinforcement, you're creating clear direction and objectives for employees. Employees will begin to recognize the value of their own positive qualities, and this is good for business. I'm really, really impressed by your willingness to participate today. You did a great job, and I thank you.